What's going on everybody, it's Brendan here. So we're gonna do another shipping video today, only today I'm shipping a sewing machine. Now it looks small and slightly compact, but it is very heavy. It's like over 32 pounds. And the nice thing about this sewing machine is it has its original cover. So it's a vintage Kenmore sewing machine that has a cover that locks in place, which should protect the inside contents. But these items are, are extremely large. And so when you're shipping them, and I'm gonna show you how, how I do this in a second here, I encourage you where you can to double box them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take a an extra heavy duty box that I got from Lowe's, and then I'm going to cover the machine once it's already in its original shipping box. So it's like a box within a box, and then we'll take you through the next steps, hopefully make it easier on you in the future to make a decision on whether you're gonna buy a sewing machine or not, and resell it on eBay or wherever it is you're reselling your items. But uh, this hopefully quells your concerns, makes it a little bit easier for you to make that decision when you're in the store. Let's get to the shipping. Here's the sewing machine. This sucker weighs about 32, 33 pounds. Very, very heavy. So when you're lifting these again, lift with your legs, not your back. Now I'm gonna put this in this box first. All right, let me show you. If you take a look inside the box, there's still a lot of room on both sides of the box, it looks kind of dark. And so I'm going to take this box here, heavy duty small, 16 by 12 by 12, and just like that, we're gonna throw it right over the top of this guy here. Okay, now, I wanna show you this because it looks as though there's almost no room to move on both of these sides, right? The only thing I really have to worry about now is the ends. So we're gonna stuff this with a little bit of bubble wrap and then I'm going to slice here, 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 and here and we're gonna pack this thing up and we're gonna get it to its destination. And it is just as easy as that. So let's get the bubble wrap in there next. If you take a look at this bubble wrap, this is the thick bubble wrap. Now, because this thing is 33 pounds, it's going to be heavy. So you don't really wanna use the, the smaller, lighter bubble bubble wraps because it's, it's, it's they're just gonna all basically explode, which will ruin the opportunity for the extra protections. The bigger bubble wrap, in my experience, with the larger, the bigger items, does better, performs better in shipping. So I'm gonna take some of this, I'm gonna fold it, and then I just wanna put it down in here and you don't need a ton of it. That's all you need, okay? We're gonna do it on the other side next. Okay. Bend this down. You want it to fit kinda tight, but you don't want this thing to move. Now, this box isn't going anywhere. The last thing I really have to do is just cut the sides, like I said before, and then I'm gonna tape it shut. I'm gonna cut it. Are you getting it? Mm-hmm. You can keep taping.
probably shouldn't use your teeth when you're cutting the tape, but it's like do as I say, not as I do. That's it. There's really nothing more to it. It's not as difficult as it looks at first glance. Lucky for me, this sewing machine has the cover to it, which serves as an added layer of protection. All right, so the dimensions on this box come to 21 by 20 by 13. Let's see what it weighs. Scale there. Just over 35 pounds, so 36. So what I have on the computer screen, and there are the dimensions right there. FedEx home delivery, that's going to cost $16.44. The buyer paid $17.99. So, I mean, we're right in the wheelhouse there. My like predicted measurements came out pretty, pretty close. So the weight I had exactly correct, the dimensions I had a little bit larger, they came out a little bit smaller. Um, but yeah, I mean, there you go. It's relatively uh, inexpensive to ship. So I'm pretty pleased with that in that regard. I'm gonna print the label out and that's all she wrote. And that ladies and gentlemen is why I always source sewing machines. I've sold a ton of them in 2020. Now that one was in excellent working condition. I took video of it working properly to again, give the buyer an extra layer of comfort knowing that it works and operates correctly. So, um, and they're just simply not that difficult to ship. Now, again, coming in at, you know, almost 40 pounds, I understand that that's, that's heavy for a lot of people. So I, I get that, but it, that's how I, that's how I ship every single sewing machine that I sell that has their original cover, just throw a double box. And again, that double box was like extra heavy duty. So between the double box and the fact that there was really no room for it to move around, I'm comfortable knowing that uh, FedEx will get it to point B from point A relatively safely at that point. I mean, it's all I can ask for. So my mentality on that is I expect the shipping companies to do their job and do their job correctly, right? I don't worry that it's going to get shattered or destroyed. There's always that possibility, but I don't worry about that. My expectation is that they get it there safely and they most of the time they do. So there's there's no issue there. And look, that only costs that buyer 18 bucks. And it costs me slightly less, which covers the, uh, the Lowe's box that I purchased because the other box I got in a dumpster for free. So I didn't even pay for the other one, but double box, Tape it up, ship it out, rinse and repeat. Super easy. Brendan here, Dad Planet. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed and you want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe. Just hover over my picture up above me and uh, you know what to do. So appreciate it. Talk to you. See you in the next video.